Hi guys, it's Olivia and today I'm going to be showing you how to do a standing up back bend. So yeah, let's just get straight into it. So obviously first what you want to do is just stretch. So as you see here, I'm just going to move you guys down onto the floor so you can see a bit better. As you see, as you see here, first I want you guys to try and do like arm warm ups. Then I want you to do hand warm ups, so like probably the most important. And then do leg warm ups like this. If you're not bendy enough, just try that. And then do the other side. Then we then go in a straddle and reach over to one side as far as you can go. And then to the other side as far as you can go. And then you just wanna do like, obviously I'm gonna try to do the splits, but if you're a beginner, just try and do like this. But I'm gonna try. If you are not beginners and you're kind of like pros, try to do the splits. Okay, now that you've done stretching, then you want to try and do a bridge first of all. So for beginners, I'll start with your legs out and go up into bridge. It's much easier, but if you're not, then you can do it with your knees together and go up like that. But it's up to you. You don't have to be noobs or pros to be able to do both. But obviously I'm gonna do it with knees together and then stretching your legs out. And then ready? Three, two, one. Straighten your legs out. And then down. And then when you've been able to do that, then you want to master it against the wall. So let's go do that quickly. I'm just gonna have to move this, guys washing okay now that I have a wall right here first you want to just trust yourself and fall back like that if you're not comfortable with doing that then just just trust yourself and go like that and then just walk down the wall and then you're in your back bend when you've mastered that a couple times, then you want to get close to your feet, like this. Let's move you so you can see me out from bed. So I'm going to go like this this time. Then go one, two, three, four, five, six. Then... When you've mastered that, then... <coughs> Then you can do the proper back bend. It's harder to just fall down. Like you just go like that. Don't just go like this. First, I would do like stretches, all that kind of stuff. Because one, a couple times, I'm able to do it in school. But then when I come out of school, I topple over because I don't run or I don't stretch. So now I'm just going to quickly stretch again because we're about to do the proper thing. When it comes to um, thinking about this, it is harder than it looks. But trust me, do not work. Don't do not fear. If you bang your head, get a pillow first. So that's what I'm going to do. Normally, I would get a pillow first, then do it, but. If you guys are comfortable with being able to do it, then you do it straight away. You go for it. But I'm just going to put you guys down here so you can see a little bit better. So here's my pillow, obviously. I'm going to stand this far away, legs apart, and just put my hands up and trust myself. There we go. Now, then after you've mastered it with the pillow, then you want to move on to it without the pillow so yeah um after you've done it without the pillow obviously you want to do it with the pillow after you've done it with the pillow then do it without the pillow as again legs far apart hands up and go back as easy as possible and then flashing your 
myself down. But anyways, that's all and hope you guys learn how, how to do that. So this will hopefully not hurt you guys. But if it does, don't do it ever again because you're not flexible enough or you just don't trust yourself. But do not stop on your dreams. That's what I'm going to say. Bye, guys.